Traffic Investigations, Detective Volteri. Basically, with Traffic Investigations, I've been here and, um, you know, I've, I find that the, the community people and the citizens this, um, see traffic accidents as just that accidents and then as a detective uh, I, we realize that a lot of accidents are really not accidents they're holding people accountable for uh, someone's death for um, a loss of life what we do is once we get the, uh, the, the, the hit and run reports we'll have a, let's say for instance a witness uh, notices the plate on the vehicle or notices a car back into vehicle and then leave and they'll go wow that wasn't right that car just hit that vehicle so the witness okay will go ahead and uh, uh, write down the plate and give it to the officer when he gets there we'll have to actually prove that this one vehicle hit another vehicle what we'll do that is by measurement paint transfers witness statements and anything else that excites them nevertheless he's uh, about he's just about to the center island here uh, and he gets hit by a vehicle goes into the windshield and he's thrown, he lands and the vehicle that struck him uh, uh, continued and, and left the scene which is uh, uh, what we call a, uh, a felony hit and run. The second vehicle of course uh, had no view of Mr. Jones who was laying on the street, did not expect him to be in the street and uh, of course ran over Mr. Jones and uh, the driver actually stopped on top of Mr. Jones and uh, he was pronounced dead at the scene. Here, that circle would show the body at rest. Um, also, these marks here would show, uh, uh, you'll see several different um, uh, uh, markings here showing where the vehicle was at rest. This is the vehicle, and as you can see, the, the, uh, we had the uh, pedestrian uh, was walking in um, the south down direction when he was struck. Came up on the windshield. These are his shoes, scuff marks. Went into the windshield, to the windshield and then uh, was knocked down, thrown down in the roadway. This, this driver uh, fled the scene. So there can be a lot of uh, paperwork involved, a lot of time and effort. Uh, we go to the tow yards, photograph the tow yards during the day if the collision happened at night. And a lot of these cars are uh, vehicles that were involved in uh, fatalities, uh, manslaughter cases, um, solo fatos, uh, fatos and um, uh, fatal hit and run. We hold these cases, these vehicles are held here for processing with the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the crime lab will come out and process these. Also some of these vehicles are being held for some of the court cases that uh, come up down the line. Um, if, if, if in fact they need to be uh, re-examined or re-inspected for any purposes. You know, people ask me why I, I became an officer or why I got into uh, police work. And, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, who you are and, and how you're brought up to. I had the ability to talk to people. I didn't tell people, um, didn't feel people were better than other people. I felt like everybody's equal. And I felt that this would be um, something along my line. That, would, that would, I would I would fit right in. And um, I think I would have to say that I uh, contribute that to, to the way my, 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 my mom and my dad raised me and my father, the influences he had on me. And, um, that's pretty much it.